Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Root Beer here with question number 10 on our 2011 Grade 11 Fairmat paper. In the diagram, PQRS is a square. It's divided into five rectangles as shown. And so we've got some of the lengths and widths and things like that. The area of the shaded rectangle is what? So let's copy this picture and um, probably going to have to. So it is a square, they said. Now I spied, uh, there's one rectangle up here. There was a very thin one over here. I think this is roughly the picture we're looking at. And uh, There was an eight up here. I think this was two. I think the 10 was down here. There was a six on, on one of the sides, but I don't remember exactly where. So we'll go back and check. So six here, nine here. We don't have any of the other lengths. Okay, but we do have a full side. So we know that it's a square, so all the side lengths are 11. So that means I oh, will use red here. That means that we need to have a one here. because 10 plus one is a side of 11. And uh, you'll have to have a five here and a uh, three up here. Great. So now there's there's two ways we could go about doing this question. We know it's an 11 by 11 squares. So we know it has a total area of 121, and we could subtract off each of these areas. We know the dimensions of these rectangles. You got a one by nine, you got a two by eight, uh, a three by uh, six, and a five by ten. That would work perfectly fine. Or you could say, well, is there a way for me to just work out? The dimensions of this inner rectangle. Okay. Well, there's a two here, so there's going to be a two across from it. But this length is six, it's a rectangle, so we get a full six here, and that means we get a dimension of four for this shaded part. And we can do the same sort of thing uh, down below. So we've got, um, let's see, a three up here, so that means we'll have a three here, but we know this full side here is 10. So then this side is 10 in total. And so this must be a seven. So really we've got a four by seven or 28. And either way you do this, you'll get 28 for your answer. Okay. Um, one of them you might find faster. The other one you might find a bit slower or harder to comprehend, but uh, they're both pretty, pretty quick to do, if I'm honest. Uh, it's just a question of whether or not you want to go hunting for a single rectangle or whether or not you want to take the dimensions that you got really easy, the ones we got in red, and uh, approach the question quickly like that. Okay, but uh, either way, we do the question, we get an answer of B28, and that is the area of the shaded region. All right, fantastic. All right, we're going to be starting part B in the next video with question number 11. If you haven't taken a look at questions 11 through 20 in part B, I would encourage you to do so before joining me in the next video as we take a look at more of our Fairmat paper.